Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to The Blessed Place. How y'all doing? It is Sunday and um, my husband and I, after church on Sunday, we always go out and eat and we could not figure out what we want to eat. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to eat. So uh, we were like going through this place and that place and we named so many places and my husband like, you know what, take me to Publix so I could get some stuff. Um, and then he, we went to Publix and he's like, I'm going to make you a nacho because he know that's one of my favorite things that he makes for me. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you all through how to make a nacho. Home, the best homemade nacho ever. So the first thing he likes to start out with his um, albacore tuna, solid white tuna, and also chicken breast. So sometimes he has either or, sometimes he has both. So yeah. salt, and pepper, um, garlic powder, and Mrs. Dash? Yeah. Okay. What is that? Say that again. A simmer sausage. Okay. I think that's what I like most in it. The summer sausage. I mean, it's not, it's not even your nacho with that summer sausage in it. Back in the microwave, so just for seasons and so he's putting the summer. Uh, you want to get you several containers because you want to be able to build your nacho. And so it's going to put the summer sausage in the microwave just a little bit, not a whole lot. But how long are you? you about four minutes. Oh, oh that's quite a long three, time. Three, three, four minutes. Three, four minutes. Okay. Create some in the microwave and start building your nacho. What you make going for Derek? Yeah, I don't know. She probably ate, but I guess she, it'll it'll hold. It ain't gonna go to waste. She'll eat it later. I love how he always thinks of my daughter. <laughs> Layering his cheese. You know we got to have cheese. It ain't a nacho without some cheese. Now he's placing the chicken breast and the tuna in each one. Evenly distributing that. So you want to lay your Doritos down, then your cheese, then um, Basically, whatever kind of meat you choose, let's say if, if you don't eat um, summer sausage, what is that, pork? I guess if you don't eat pork, you just want to use some chicken breast and some tuna. You can use both or either or. Whatever you want to layer your taco with. Or, we never use it, but um, ground beef. If, somebody want, if they want to cook ground beef, but we never do that. We do the easy route, no cooking. Microwave. Layer the um, tomato, onion, peppers, onions, onion. and they're uncooked. And like I said, we go the easy route, already cut up and sliced, but you can slice it yourself if you want to. But this is supposed to be an easy, quick dish. So, if you want to go easy and quick, just purchase it. Okay, just check the summer sausage, but how can you tell if it's ready? The juice will come out. So. Oh, the juice as it like forms its own juice mm -hmm. in the pan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And y'all be looking at my husband's chest. <laughs> <laughs> keep it holy, keep it holy up in her. <laughs> okay, he's cutting up some broccoli. Just getting a little, getting a little veggie in with our nacho, so we can say we eating healthy. <laughs> Broccoli is definitely optional because um, sometimes we have broccoli and sometimes not. It depends on how healthy you want to make it or your liking. I like broccoli, so it's all good. Our summer sausage is, has formed some some juice in there, and he's putting a little a little, a little drizzle in each one. So what's the little 
juice for? What's the little drizzles? A fake flavor. Just a little flavor? Oh, okay. Yeah, because this sausage has plenty of flavor, so. Another layer of Doritos on each one. We got it chopped full of our tuna and chicken breast and broccoli and tomatoes and onions and peppers and cheese. Nom nom. And we're gonna continue to layer it. And I'll be and we save the little sausage to put um, on top. I'm just gonna keep layering it like that and I'll show you all the uh, uh, final that chef right there. There are some more onions and peppers. More tuna and chicken breasts. Ooh, we're getting to the end. Get to the end of the layers. And then you're going to put them in the microwave mm -hmm. for a little bit. Yep, and let it meld all together. And I'll be back and show you all the finished product. Okay, mine is in the microwave. It'll go in there for about four minutes. And there's Charles waiting to go in the microwave. And that one is Derricus. Um, he's not gonna put hers in the microwave. She put it in the microwave when she's ready to eat because she's gonna be eating already. Okay, you guys, that's the final product right there. Looking good, looking yummy. And of course I got my sour cream because I have to have sour cream with my nachos. You have your little salsa or plain or whatever you want to put on it, but sour cream is my uh, choice of condiment. Thank you, baby. Good job. Love Excellent. <laughs> Bye-bye, y'all.